Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. This is going to be step 15 in the instructions on building the X-15 rocket. In this step, we're going to cut out these fairings and the canopy that goes on the nose cone. Now, this is probably the hardest step, and probably you might be watching these videos for the very first time in this series, trying to figure out where exactly you cut on these vacuform wraps, because it's not very well defined, and the reason is because it conforms to the tubes so well. So our first step here is to take a pencil, and we want to draw around the perimeter where we're going to cut out. Now this is going to be very hard to see, but um, imagine this is a flat edge and then it goes down and it meets a curved section. See this curved section right here? Well, there's a curved section down here as well. Um, and so that's going to be the line that we're going to cut around, not around where the, it meets the flat surface here. So you want to, you want to mark it first so that you can actually see it. So um, I'm going to start out with a pencil, then I'm going to go back with a, a pen just so that you can see it more clearly because I'm not sure this is going to turn out well here on the video camera because I'm going to do it with a pencil because I want to get fairly close. Now don't panic if you cut wrong. Because it conforms so well to the rocket and because it's sort of flexible, it's got a lot of forgiveness in it, which means that you can screw up a cut and it will still look good on your rocket. So don't panic. Just kind of work slow. Try to get, you know, try to be as accurate as you can, but don't worry if it's not 100% perfect. So I'm going to try to go around the perimeter like this. And my pencil is kind of following the edge. Here in the middle is where it's probably going to be the hardest because that that curved edge is so short. Okay, and then at the very tip, it's also um, hard to see so just kind of work slow, kind of eyeball it. Again, you don't have to be 100% perfect. Something like that. And then we're going to come around on this side. And this one, this piece might kind of hide. Let me, uh, let me cut this piece away so that you can see it. So to cut this, you, you just score along the plastic. You don't have to cut all the way through. Um, you just start bending it back and forth, and it weakens the plastic, and then finally the plastic just will start splitting on its own. And I'll just cut through the edge right there. So just like that. Okay, so now you can see my edge here a little bit better. Okay, and now on this edge, just cut along the bottom like this. We're going to trim this away later and we'll, I'll show you how to do that. But for now, just cut it square. That will be perfectly fine. So now I'm going to go back with a, with a marker here and I'm just going to remark this, hopefully that you can see it better. Yeah. 
And you also want to do the same thing around the canopy sections. There's two of them. Okay, and then again on the rear end, we're just going to bring it down like that and probably just cut it right there and we're going to trim that later so don't worry about that end okay so then when you're ready to start cutting i just showed you the technique so we're going to just score lightly well i'm not cutting all the way through i'm not using a lot of pressure here I'm just trying to follow my line um, and if you want to be on the outside of your line that's perfectly fine um, we are going to we are going to trim these and sand these so they will fit a little bit better Okay, so when you get to the corners, here is where you do want to cut through. So now I'm plunging my knife into that corner so I can get around the edge and then I can just score here. So on this side, I'm, I'm just going to kind of reverse the, the, uh, the direction of the knife. Okay. Okay, so now I've gone all the way around, and now I'm just going to start bending back and forth. And it's going to snap on its own. Just work slowly so you don't, don't break anything that's not supposed to be broken. Work this in. Okay, so the, the, the curved edge right here is actually the hardest. So you just work slowly. And if you want to cut away this other stuff so you can bend it easy, easier, that's perfectly fine. Okay, see how I did that? I just just so I can bend this a little easier to get it to flex. Okay, so that's one fairing. Is that piece? All right, so I'll cut out that last fairing, um, and then we'll be right back. After the fairings are cut out of the plastic sheet, we need to trim the ends. And to do that, we're going to use the body tube. Um, so all this shock cord, it has to stay inside. It just gets in the way. Um, you can take some paper towels, just wad them up, 
just jam it in there just to keep that from falling out on you. So our, our technique here is we're going to take the fairing and we're going to stick it over the edge of the tube like this. And then we're going to trim away the part that hangs over the edge. And do this carefully because you don't want to gouge into the paper tube. So just let it hang over and if you want to do it in a series of small cuts that would be good. Okay, just like that. And we're going to do the same thing with the, uh, the nose cone canopies, um, the small one as well as the large one. Okay, there's that one. And then finally this one. This one takes, I'm going to take a, a big chunk of it off here first. Okay, so in our next step we're going to um, sand these even further. So right now we're just removing a lot of material and then we're going to fine-tune it in the next step.